Hey everybody, this is Joel over at ImportSauce.com and today we have a very exciting product review and install. It is going to be the Elevate Performance and Manifold for T5 engines. We are putting this on the S40 today. So stick around, we're going to talk about the construction, we're going to talk about the horsepower gains, the torque gains, we're going to do some data logging and just see what kind of uh, results we get and, and just go from there. Stick around. Okay, so this is one part that I've had my eye on for many, many years. Uh, we started off with uh, the air intake and the turbo pipe. We've done blow-off valve. We've done the turbo control valve, uh, blow-off valve. We've done the wastegate. Uh, we also have the exhaust. We have the downpipe. We have the tune. We have all of that. So we're getting pretty close to our bolt-on add-ons. Um, and this is just one that we finally said, you know, let's go ahead and get this guy. Um, it is important to note that this is the upper. There is also the lower inlet manifold. Those are two separate items sold by ElevateCars.com. Today, we're gonna to talk about the performance inlet, which is uh, I'll refer to as the upper. So this is gonna replace the cheap and plastic one that we have here. Uh, Elevate on their website, ElevateCars.com, is uh, stating that this is gonna give us 26 horsepower, 22 of torque. Obviously, that's going to be on some of the best conditions of the vehicle, but because we already have most of the other bolt-ons, we're hoping to hopefully see uh, most of that. Uh, 22 of torque should definitely be noticeable, and we're excited to get that, especially because we have the all-wheel drive and we did the XC90 rear diff module uh, conversion, so it's more all-wheel drive than a traditional S40 that would come out of the factory. Um, so starting off, this guy over at elevatecars.com, we already talked about the specs. Our initial reaction is just that the powder coating on this was awesome. Uh, the weight on it is great. It is just really a polished product. It does come in four versions. We have the gloss black here. You can get the silver, the brilliant uh, silver. You can get what I will refer to as the stealth. Uh, essentially, it's pretty much the same. It does not have the Elevate logo. They list it as a semi-gloss black, um, so it's not going to maybe uh, attract too much attention. And then uh, they also have uh, the raw aluminum. So a lot of people we're seeing out there on the forums as well as the Instagram are getting those, and then they're color matching it to their own paint, or they're doing something creative with it as well. So you do have those four different options. Uh, so with this, as always, we get our detailed colored instructions and it walks us through step by step. Uh, we are going to be doing uh, only about half of those because the instructions are going to be taken into account if you have the factory air box. We do not, so we don't have to deal with disconnecting that, pulling the ECU, doing all of that. We are just going to pull the air filter off, boop, and we're going to disconnect the uh, hoses off the lower of the uh, throttle body and then the vacuum lines and we're going to get the six uh, eight millimeter bolts that are underneath and we should be able to go ahead and get this one off and then this one on we're guessing maybe about 30 minutes or so we are going to time lapse it so you can see the whole thing and then once we get this one out we'll do a side by side comparison and we'll go ahead and hop over to the install now. about eh, 20 minutes uh, getting the uh, throttle body clamp easy the uh, other vacuum hose easy the other vacuum the lower back pop, 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 those are good to go uh, the six bolts weren't too bad on ours it was a 5 16 so on the instructions um, I don't know if at some point somebody swapped them out or whatever but if you're not finding a 10 or a 9 or an 8 to work 5 16th is what we did, and the bolts did look factory. So, uh, 
And then uh, the throttle body, we went ahead and pulled that off while we were in there because the clip was a little tight, but we decided to pull it uh, off completely and install it here so that we're not scratching up our piece. So here's our factory guy, weighs like, I don't know, two pounds top. This guy is solid. Um, the weight's there. We're gonna reuse the same six bolts. It didn't come with new ones, but it did come with four new ones for the throttle body. And we're gonna reuse the same gasket. We had just done the head gasket not too long ago, so this one's actually pretty new. And uh, came with the new uh, gasket to join the two as well. Matches perfectly, six right on there. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you can just tell a lot of people are saying that when you get higher into the boost that these cheap plastic parts are going to be prone to the crack edge or just, you know, the heat of the engine, whatever it's going to be. It's just a potential failure point. And then with this new guy here, on top of the solid construction, we know that it's going to lie, uh, last the life of the car. And it's also going to give us hopefully those 26 HPs that we're looking for. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and put this back on just in reverse order. The throttle body uh, is going to go back on and then we're going to pop it on with the gasket, six bolts, and then reconnect our four hoses on there. And then uh, we'll take it out and do some uh, some data log pulls. Okay, so we just finished the install. It was definitely a little bit longer than taking the other uh, factory piece off. We clocked, uh, that was about 45 minutes or so. But what happened is with those putting the bolts back in. We were getting a little, almost like what felt with a, like a cross thread. So we didn't want to uh, damage, obviously, the new uh, inlet. We took it off. We made sure that all the six bolts went in, you know, properly. Just got the bolts really acclimated to the threading. And then we went back and we went through and secured it, getting the, uh, the clip for the uh, throttle body back in, all the vacuum. So it was really, we just wanted to pay attention to the threading and make sure that you don't strip it. So be careful with that. Uh, we took our time, like I said, we acclimated them first and then it seemed to work okay. Uh, so we're gonna take this uh, guy out for a run and see what it sounds like. And then we'll uh, let you know our, our reactions. Okay, so we just got back from the run. The initial data log put us at 290 horses. Uh, keep in mind that that's probably gonna be to the crank is what they're reporting. Uh, recapping, currently we have the exhaust, the magna flow, we have the elevate down pipe, elevate intake, elevate turbo pipe, we have the elevate turbo control valve, the elevate compressor bypass valve. We have not installed the elevate wastegate um, and the tune. And now the performance inlet manifold. So that's where our 290 uh, horsepowers were coming from and I'm happy to report that after installing this the newest data log number 318 so we definitely in the numbers did see the increase even more than what Elevate reported that you would see they were putting theirs at uh, 26 we reported uh, 28 but again we were just uh, finding an open road we were gunning it we were Get some traffic, so this wasn't a consistent dyno where we're gonna, you know, max out fourth gear. Uh, I don't even think we got to fourth gear. We were only in third gear, but it was the same road and essentially the same zero to 80 miles per hour. So at least apples to apples, 290 to 318. So again, if you are looking, we have now uh, showed you the product, showed you the install and the data logs and charts to prove that this is a pretty solid product. Elevatecars.com is where you can get this. And again, importsauce.com and all of our socials at Importsauce. Thanks for watching.